This time of year marks a time when it is so much fun to be a makeup lover. Drugstore makeup companies start to release a ton of makeup around this time of year and we get to see some fantastic things. I'm going to do a complete try on for you today of new makeup that I have recently purchased. Let's get into the video so you can see what the good, the bad, and the ugly is. Hi friends, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison here so you can see me put it on, but I get to talk about it at the same time, so we'll save a little bit of time with all my chatty Kathiness. And we're gonna first talk about what I have on for a shirt. This is a very pretty sweater that has a bunch of different textures and different patterns on it. I love this particular one with the red, but they do have a pink one that's absolutely adorable. And you have seen me wear one before that they say is light gray and it looks a little bit like a light lavender, a really super light lavender. So this is a fun one. It is a tunic length, comes down over the butt, kind of hides it a little bit. And it is very true to size, so you know that. I also am wearing one of my favorite necklaces, which is my silver initial necklace. And so it has the M, but it also has this cute little heart on it right here in the little swoop right there on the end. Just think it's really cute. And then these hoop earrings that I have on that are silver. These earrings come in silver, gold, and rose gold. They also come in a bunch of different sizes. What's beautiful about them is they're hollow, so they're super duper light. Doesn't matter if you choose the very biggest ones or if you choose the smallest ones, they're not gonna tug on your earlobe. Love those. Okay, let's get into the makeup. Starting out with eyeshadow primer. I'm not exactly sure if I'm absolutely in love with this, but I do feel like it did take away the discoloration and it did help my eyeshadow to stay on longer. And then e.l.f. just released a new primer and it's along the same lines as their gripping primer that is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And this is very much like the green tube that you see, but this one has 4% niacinamide. Niacinamide is a great brightener for your face. It helps with pores and all kinds of good stuff. Niacinamide is just a great skincare ingredient. So when you use this primer, not only are you getting the gripping property, but you're also getting that niacinamide. Like I said, it's just exactly like the other one. I think that the less you use, the more you're gonna like it. But I think that if you used a lot, you'd be okay at the same time. It's sinking in really well as I'm working it into my hand right now. And I feel like it really did did do a great job on gripping my foundation, which is exactly what we want it to do so that the foundation stays on all day. The next thing that I did was I did my eyes and CoverGirl came out with these new clean color quads that are their eyeshadows. And I think these are so pretty and I was really shocked at the quality as well. It's really good. The first one that I'll show you is the one that I have on kind of the most today. This one is the Classic Smoky. And so you can see that it has very warm tones in there. The problem with this one is that it doesn't have a decent transition color in it. So I had to reach for one of the other ones, but it does have all those beautiful colors in it. I am so surprised and very, very happy about the quality of these eyeshadows. They are really good. I didn't find a lot of fallout except for one of the other pans in another palette. But I'm really surprised at how good the quality is. I do think that they're just a tiny bit overpriced, but I know that you could probably get them on sale and be just as happy. So I really like these and I think that you will too. The next one is called Cool Berry and I did say that I had to substitute a color. I went in with this color right here, which is a matte for my transition color today. And I actually did use this deep brown for a lot of the outer V and then the eyelining. It just worked really good to put those two palettes together. Again, just a really great formula. It doesn't skip, it feels very soft and it doesn't feel buttery, but it doesn't feel chalky either. It just feels like it's a really good formula. I think that if you're a beginner or if you're a pro, you're gonna like these, they're really nice. And then the last one, which I'm not wearing today is called Mellow mauve but i picked it up because i knew that these would be colors that i would like to work with now i will oh i did work with this one right here sorry i did put this one just a little bit on the lid towards the outer part where the darkness is um just for a little bit of brightness i will say that i'm really shocked at how nice the mattes are on this usually when you get a drugstore company you have a very big difference between the mattes 
and the shimmers and I feel like they did a really good job on both. So I didn't pick all of these up, but I do feel like each of them were really good as far as how they performed. Then I so. went into my foundation and I was trying out the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I want to say that this is the repackaged one that comes in a little bottle and now we have a pump for it. I did feel like this was good. However, my face is really, really dry right now. I did a little bit too much with a chemical peel on it and I'm having a hard time just, you know, getting all of that dry skin off. So I did feel like I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm going to wear it a couple more times for you and then I will put down in the description box how I felt about it ultimately. I was a little bit concerned with oxidation. I felt like it darkened up just about one shade after I had it on for about an hour. Great coverage. I needed two coats to get full coverage. Um, the jury's still out on this one. So I'm not 100% sure on it, but I definitely wanted to show it to you. I didn't use I a brand new concealer because I didn't have one in here that I had bought. So I just used the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. And using this concealer from e.l.f. tells me why I'm questioning that foundation. And that's because going underneath my eyes, it did look a little bit crepey. And normally this doesn't. It looks smooth and it doesn't settle into lines. So I'm thinking that it's about my skin being so dry and flaky right now because I love this hydrating camo concealer from e.l.f. So I'm thinking that I'm going to love the foundation too. When I get through this little crap show with my very, very dry skin. For my brows, I did use another one that's not new. It's new to me. It's the Maybelline Express Brow. It's just microfine right there on the tip but I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed it a lot. And if you have seen my tutorial on eyebrows, this one worked really good for that particular tutorial. One that is new though is from Milani and this is the Liquid Brow Wax. Um, it's kind of all the rage right now to use wax in your eyebrows to make the hair kind of defined and stand up a little bit. And I used this after I had used that one from Maybelline and I feel like it's good. I just don't know if I'm absolutely over the moon in love with it because I always like to use just a, a tinted brow gel afterwards. So I think that if you do like brow wax and you use it and you enjoy it, I think this is a good delivery system and I think that you will enjoy it. And I do feel like the product was good too, as far as it being a wax and not necessarily a setting gel. So I think that if you like waxes, you'll really like this. Next, I went in with the new Catrice. This is the Shape and Define Contour Stick. Now, Catrice has had these around for quite a while. As a matter of fact, they had a triangle contour stick quite a while ago that I absolutely loved and they discontinued it, which is a little bit like, ugh. I, when they get something really good and then they come in and they discontinue it, I just, yeah, it's not my favorite thing. But the contour stick is on this side and then this isn't a highlight on this side. This is just like a regular cream stick, which was kind of nice because what I did with, the, with this part of it was I just worked it into my inner eye right here and that worked really good because it gave a lot of lightness without giving the shine or the metallic look in there. The contour part of it or the bronzing part of it is definitely a bronzer. It is not necessarily a contour. So you don't get any of that muddiness. So although I did use it all around the edge of my face in order to try and, you know, contour my face, I feel like it wasn't quite what I needed as far as the color. As far as the formula, it's fantastic. I loved the formula. It's not so thin that it's going to wipe away on you quickly, but it's not so thick that you can't blend it out well. And I really did think that that was good about it. I think maybe I will try the light. I'm not 100% sure if they have a dark or not. If they don't, I'm going to complain to them because Catrice occasionally does send me some PR. They didn't send this, but occasionally they do. So if I get somebody's listening ear, I'm going to tell them they need to expand their range of colors just a little bit, even though I did like it. Okay, right. the next product, this is the new e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzers. The first one is a really great color for a contour. However, when you're doing a contour, you definitely want it to be matte. And this is not matte. I just went over top of that, Catrice. This is not matte at all. It's got that luminous, pretty property to it. So 
I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that, but if you're wanting a cool tone bronzer, that one is perfect. It's just really pretty. And if you're very fair, it's going to be really pretty too. So what I did was I just took my brush and I went in between the two. And then, you know, I kind of tried to warm my face up a little bit and it worked really well. There is the next color. So the first color, the lighter color is Vacay Mood. And then the more bronzy color is Day Trip. And I love the consistency. It's very much like all of their other putty products. It's great. I haven't tried any of the darker ones. So if you're um, a deeper gal, will you sound off down below and let us know how you felt about any of their darker putty products especially the bronzers even if it wasn't this new luminous formula i do like the luminous formula i don't feel like it's a far stretch away from the matte i feel like what it is is it's more along a satin formula i do like the formula i'm just thinking that they need a few more colors in it something that was really fun for me was that i didn't have a highlighter in this video either when i was doing it so what i did was i reached way back into the hidden gems and grabbed the Maybelline Master Chrome. So this is the lightest color that they have. They have a rose gold and a regular gold. And I just, I love these. They're very soft and they're very lovely to work with. And look how high beam that is. I just think it's one of those highlighters that it, you know, when it came out, it was kind of innovative. This was the beginning of drugstore highlighters. And this one just, it's so pretty. And this is the only color that I have actually kept from those. I used to have all the colors and I work with this one all the time because it's just very easy to put it on your cheeks and have those cheeks just be super glowy. Um, I use mine underneath blush and I love it. So yes, I, this is not one that is new, but it's a hidden gem and I figured I'd throw it in this video for you guys so that you had a highlighter to choose from. Now, when that was new to me, this isn't necessarily that you can go out and get at the drugstore, but it's definitely a drugstore price is this cream blush from Moira. And Moira came out with these this year and they did such a great job. I need to get a couple more colors of this. It is what I'm wearing today and I could probably stand to put a tiny bit more on even though I maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, but I love blush. And so putting a little bit more on won't hurt my feelings at all. It's just really, really easy to work with. This is a stipple brush that you can get on Amazon. I'll link it right below the Moira blush. But the cream blush itself, it's very pigmented and very pretty. And I love that about it, but it feels really emollient. So it's not going to dry you out when you get it onto your cheeks. You're going to really like it as far as if you are a mature woman that has a problem with powder blush and you don't like the way that it shows up texture, cream blushes do a great job for that. This can be built up a lot or it can be sheared out and you need so very little. But this one was really fun um, on the cheeks and it really looks pretty with just about any look that you do. So beautiful formula from Moira on those new cream blushes. Now next as far as a setting powder goes, I was really surprised at this. This is the new Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. It's a loose powder, so I'm not a loose powder fan normally. I really am not somebody that really likes it. I do love that their delivery system includes a little lid right there that, you know, just kind of goes up and you don't have to have powder going everywhere every time you use it. The other thing is that this powder, wow. I just barely not long ago got the House Labs powder and I love that powder. And I think I like it a little bit better than this one, but this is a really close second. This one is just a tiny bit more dry, but even when I just, I put my finger down in here, you can hard, I mean, I'm hardly getting anything on there, but I am getting some on there because I can feel my finger kind of dry out. So if you are a gal that is anywhere from normal to oily, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love setting down the areas that you need to. It's very blurring and it really does blur out those pores for you. If you are somebody that is like dry to normal, like I am, I'm super dry. What I did with this today was I just took a tiny bit on a brush and I really, really buffed it in and, you know, tried to get my pores blurred out and tried to get these areas where I really get a little bit of breakthrough. And it did a great job, but I could feel that I was a little bit dry afterwards. So I went in with setting spray after and just took away that dryness. But I feel like this is a great powder as far as how light and airy and super duper 
finely milled. It's super finely milled. So I feel like you will love this if you've been looking for a new powder and you want something that is just ultra light. Now, when I'm talking setting sprays, this isn't new to the market, but this, this one is new to me. And this is an LA girl setting spray that doesn't have any alcohol that dries out in it. And I was so pleased to find this. So excited. LA girl setting spray. It says fix and set makeup for extended wear. I feel like this is a really nice spray. It, first of all, it has a pretty nice mist i did have to take it and go over my face and then i took my sponge and i just went in and you know dabbed it a little bit just to work it in with all of my powder products and i felt like it really brought my face back to life after that powder and that's what i use setting sprays for anyway not necessarily longevity if i'm looking for that in the summertime then that's what it will be but this one not only does it give the longevity but i felt like it just melted all of the makeup together the powders with my foundation this is a great way for you to be able to powder if you're dry and then go in and use this and you won't look dry for my lips i did use a LA Girl Shockwave Liner in Rosewood that I've had forever. It's not one that is new to me at all. This is one of my favorites as far as formula goes. I just feel like it really is the sweet spot between not being too dry, not being too creamy that you're going to bleed your lipstick at all. And the other thing that I love about it is it really blends out well. This is a beautiful one and they have a bunch of colors and just really like the formula of it. Have had it for a long time. Now, these are new to me and I don't know where the heck I've been. These have been out for a long time. These are the Essence um, semi-matte lipsticks. I have one in Naughty. This is that brighter color right here. Kind of a peach pink color, cross between a peach and a pink, and a little bit of a, you know, lighter color so it looks a little bit nude. And then this one is called Amazing, and it is more of a mauve kind of a mauve rose, medium mauve rose, I guess, on that one. So really pretty. I like the formula on them. I loved the consistency because it doesn't feel super mad but it does and yay me i messed up and i don't have any sound over this so this part we're going to be putting on the lipstick it's so pretty and it just feels so nice on the lips i love this lipstick and then filler instinct from nyx this is a little bit of plumping lip gloss so pillowy and yummy i love this one and then the vivid matte eyeliner this is a liquid liner and i like this but i have pins that i like a little bit more than this one so this wasn't my favorite but i did like it and then the very last thing is the telescopic lift from l'oreal the new mascara i am absolutely in love with this i love the brush it separates it makes your lashes look so long and so thick the very best part about it is that even though it's a washable formula it's definitely no budge no smudging and no flaking and here's the finished look and yes i have a cheesy grin on my face <laughs> thanks so much you guys i hope that i see you very soon in my next video hope that you enjoyed this one